All right, all right, all right, all right. We talking Spark 2, playoff agendas. We talking about a whole lot of hoot nanny, about a whole lot of dun dun dun. We getting to it. Go ahead and like the video right now. Before we even jump into it though, let's go ahead and see who our co-stars are for the day. We have Jalen Brown out here. We leading it out with Jalen Brown out here. We just got a Jalen Brown. Didn't we just get a Jalen Brown? We just got a Jalen Brown in the Ignite set. And we're going to have to compare and contrast, definitely. We have Kyrie Irving, Mike Conley. I see a Derek Lively, the second. Andrew, never mind. I mean, never mind him anyway. He's a 98, and we don't run those. What we just might be running, though, is this Penny Hardaway. We might be rocking with Bro. We got a DeAndre Jordan. Uh, a few other stragglers around here, Reggie Lewis. I don't know if we're running all these guys. I do know that Penny Hardaway just might be that guy. So let's check it out and see. First things first, if you are new here, I need to forewarn you that the Spark agendas are free. Agendas are free. You do not have to pay for them. You can come right here to your agendas tab. I hope that you're following me, the home section on your home page for my team. And then you come over here to this agenda tab, bro. They're free. They're free cards. You do tasks, you complete your tasks, and you got the cards. You got these cards for free. Definitely. All these cards are free. Yep. Got it. The reason why I'm telling you that these cards are free is because they give you an option to buy these cards also. And I'm just like, nah, not me. It wouldn't be me. You wouldn't catch me buying these packs. You wouldn't catch me buying these packs. They got base packs. They got base bundles. They got 20 boxes. They got guaranteed. I mean, if you want a guarantee, but you're gonna get, you're guaranteed to get all these cards anyway. I'm gonna show you why you don't buy these because you're gonna open this pack and this is what's gonna happen. This is exactly what's gonna happen. You're gonna open that pack there. Nothing's gonna shake. You're gonna get an Isaiah Jackson and you're not gonna like yourself. You're not gonna like Isaiah Jackson. You're not gonna use Isaiah Jackson. You're gonna use, you're gonna use him. Are you gonna use Isaiah Jackson? Is that what you're gonna do with your time? What are you gonna use this gold card to do? You see, it was a duplicate. I didn't even get anything towards collector level. So, I mean, it is what it is. I wonder what the streets are saying about these cards, but before we see what the streets are saying about these cards, we're gonna go ahead and see what it takes to get these agenda cards. Starting with the playoff conference recap. Conley assists and points. He scored 18 points and five assists with any Mike Conley in a game. Nambahard points and assists, score 32 points and get nine assists with any Andrew Nambahard in a game. Lively don't miss, score 14 points and shoot 100% from the field with Derek Lively, the second, in a game. Irving points and assists, score 36 points and get five assists with any Kyrie Irving in a game. Brown points and rebounds, score 40 points and get five rebounds with any Jalen Brown in a game. You can do that. You got those five cards for yourself from the playoff conference conference finals cannot talk playoff conference finals recap spark number three this third these are the third sets of spark cards for these cards you're gonna have to get celtic points score 21 points in the game with the celtics player 15 times wow two-time league rebounder get 100 rebounds with the center over multiple multiplayer games Lawson, career high assists, get 19 assists with 18 points in a, wait, with a point guard in a game. Get 19 assists and 18 points with a point guard in a game. They tried to cross me over right there. You seen them. Johnson, career high points, score 36 points and get 11 rebounds with the Spurs player in a game. Nets three-pointers, make 53 pointers with Nets players over multiple games. CTO fast break points, score 50 fast break points over multiple clutch time online games. Magic assists, get 100 assists with Magic players over multiple games. And then Hardaway career high points, score 42 points and get eight assists with a player in a game. You do all those and you got your spark threes complete. You get your penny Hardaway. Yes, sir. We're going to go to the teletape and see what those these cards are talking about. See which ones are viable, which ones you can floor and put on the floor for your team. We definitely want to know who 
can do what? And you want to come do these ex- exhibitions. Look, that's a free thousand points right there. You definitely want to come and fill out these exhibitions when you got time to, if you have extra players to throw in. That's a 1100 points right there. We got my team points, the badge award pack, just for, just for sending my players out on missions. I mean, you don't have to play the missions. You just send them out on AI missions. They go ahead and bring you back a little VC, a little MT. I'm mean, excuse me, not VC, but MT definitely. And you want to do your challenges too. We got spotlight challenges right here. Make sure you do your round conference final spotlight challenges. Make sure you do your spark three spotlight challenges. It's just a few games away. You got five games here. You got two games here for the sparks, five games for the conference finals recap. I still haven't done ignite. They always, when the agendas come out, you always get challenges to accompany these agendas. And sometimes you may get a skills challenge to accompany. You see the goat series has skills challenges. So when the next goat pack drops, you will definitely see a skills challenge for them. And I believe a, a spotlight. You may see a spotlight. I'm not sure. I don't see any goat spotlights. But either way, these these challenges, they get you some good VC. I mean, some good MT. Excuse me. I'm a little bit crossed up this morning. Either way. Yeah, you just go through the you go through the, the ranks. Get your players out there. Get your whoop de whoops. You know what I'm saying? And your whatnots. Either way, that's how you get your, that's actually how you get your players cards. You get, you're going to get Mike Conley for finishing this one. You're going to get this player for finishing this one, that player for finishing that one. You got Kyrie and Jalen. You get the player after you finish the spotlight challenge. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. If I'm not, you could let me know in the comment section. Either way, I'm not always right, but I try to be as right as I can for you. And if I got to research it, I'm going to research it. Either way, that's how you get to your spotlight challenges. That's how you get to your agendas for the week for these spark threes. And let's go into the tail of the tape and see which ones of these cards are what. But before we even get into that, let's go ahead and see what's going on in the streets. What are they talking about? OK, so we got our playoffs here. 2K has dropped our playoff packs. And uh, personally, I think they should be they should all be dark matters. It is June, but that's just me. I feel you. We're not good enough for Luca or Tatum. You know, they holding Luca and Tatum in their pocket. So they can monetize them joints. Can someone please post the agendas? Thanks. That's what I'm doing right now, Sammy. Get here. You're not here. Why are you not here? Like the video. Subscribe for more. DM for gr- no. We're not. If you if you pay anybody to play your game for you, you probably have a lot of money and you work a lot of hours because I just couldn't see myself paying anybody to to play the game for me. What do you mean the actual player? Y'all changed the formula, huh? I'm not I'm not sure what that means. Please drop Gladiator Dark Matter Tatum in the locker code. I don't think they're going to do that. Just give us the auction house, bro. It ain't happening. Let go of the auction house. Uh, That one's in Spanish. I don't read Spanish. It might be French. I'm not sure. I'll take these happily, to be honest. OK, I mean, if that's what you like, you like what you like. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Five blocks with Galford is never going to be possible. Don't do that again. What? Okay, look, I'm done with these. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not done in these streets. We're not done. We got the spark. What are they saying about the sparks? Refund the people y'all scam with Jalen Brown real quick. Yeah, it gets it gets sticky out here. Let's see if we can. Nope, his his hat is sideways. His hair hat is sideways. We almost got his. We almost got it. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's what's up, bro? We can't get his hair in the right spot. Either way, it is what it is. How many free point guards do we need? Well, I mean, I'll take Penny. I'm not going to lie. I think Penny might be. Don't tweet unless you're saying auction house is back. You guys need to get over yourselves. You guys really do need to get over yourselves. It's a lot going on out here and the auction house is not coming back. Let it go. Challenges take too long. Nobody want to grind, grind all effing day for the same cards since September of last year. Just made this free and let us decide what uniforms and how we want things. This company is old fashioned, bro. I don't know what part of the game you're living in, but it's not this one. It's not the right one. I don't think you tripping. Make the just make the cards free. We don't even want to play the game. Only five playoff rewards. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's the conference finals. I mean, come on. I mean, come on, bro. I mean, what do you want them to do? They got to hold something in their pocket to make their money off of. You guys are pure evil. I locked in 
the Ignite set and got Jalen Brown, you know you were giving away the exact same card for free five days later. That's really wrong and you know it. Dang, they might have a they might have a point. Let's go see if they have a point. Let's see if they actually have a point. We need to pull up on Jalen Brown's card real quick. Jalen Brown to the yes, to the table. This Jalen Brown here has 25 shot IQ. I actually want to see how many cards have 25 shot IQ. I'm going to go through in this video and see right after we do this. This card looks kind of mid. I'm not going to lie to you. We want to put him up against the Jalen Brown that just dropped from Ignite. Okay, and excuse me for uh, not zooming out the camera. All right, citizens, let's get dangerous. Okay, so both these cards have 35 Hall of Fame and 24 gold badges. They're both the same height, same wingspan, same weight, 99 overall offense and defense. These cards are exactly the same. From the point standpoint, they both have the total stats, 3,186. That's crazy to me. It's the exact same card. Let's see if any tendencies change. No tendency changes. I don't see any tendency. Nope. No tendency changes. Those are all the same. Badges. Any badge upgrades? I don't see any badge upgrades for these two cards. Jalen Brown is identical so far. We're batting a thousand. New gen. Nope. New gen is all the same badges. I don't see any upgrades for Jalen Brown on old gen or new gen. 40 Hall of Fame badges, 28 gold badges on next gen. Same height, same weight, same wingspan, same everything. 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 Everything's the same here. There are no changes to this card. Why would you give us this card without even changing a dunk package? You didn't change not a thing. Pro Penny, John Wall, Pro Russell Westbrook, Kobe, Ja, Trey, Kobe, Elite, Mike. There are no changes here. That's not right. I want a do-over. I'm requesting a do-over. Well, I mean, honestly, for the people that already pulled Jalen Brown, Dark Matter Jalen Brown for the Ignite, I guess... I guess you uh, spent your money on a free card for the people who didn't get Jalen Brown out of the Ignite pack. I'm guessing you get a free Jalen Brown. So everybody's going to have Jalen Brown. Put it like that. That's kind of that's kind of kooky. That's kind of kooky. I feel like. Uh, I feel like. Brother. Uh, you know what I mean? Brother, uh, like kind of. That's kind of shady. That? Why would you? I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to. I can't with you guys anymore. I'm not even going to. So is this Kyrie identical to? Nah, probably not. Either way, he has a 25 shot IQ, 99 three point shot, 99 ball handle. Oh, this playmaking is up there, bro. His defense is a little bit lacking. 97 perimeter, though. 97 lateral quickness. He's looking all right. Speed acceleration is 99. He's not looking bad. This card is actually not looking bad. What it's going to come down to is these animations. And he's all Kyrie, all Kyrie with pro spin and Steph Curry triple threat style. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't be feeling Kyrie's his uh, dribble moves. I'm not really feeling them like that. As far as for having a six two point guard. I'm not. I mean, I'm not going to hold you. I'm not. I'm not feeling that. But it is what it is. It's it's Kyrie. Then they work. I just don't know how to use them personally. So, I mean, that's an undersized point guard that you can use to get right if you have to. Reggie Lewis, a shooting guard, small forward, 6'7", small forward shooting guard with an 89 three-point shot. All of these cards have 20. I want to look up this shot IQ thing. I actually want to ask 2K Toots. I actually want to ask 2K Toots. Or like 2K Intel or whatever, not 2K Intel. I think I can't remember all of them dudes' names, but it's a it's a few guys out here that will actually run test on different stats in the game. And I mean, they they make sense. 
they make sense and they help us out a little bit as far as knowing what's what. This card looks like a, Reggie Lewis looks like a, I don't know. It's, it's mid. It's a dark matter mid. I'm going to say dark matter mid, bro. Steve Francis signature size up. He does have Trey Young escape. Steph Curry's moving step back. I want to ask about that 25 shot IQ though. DeAndre Jordan, he's above the rim. He can't shoot. He has 30 shot IQ though, but he can't shoot. Um, 27 Hall of Fame badges, 28 gold ones. If you need an inside center that's going to play above the rim, you can throw lobs to. He's Lob City. This is Lob City. This is the Lob City Mecca. Him and Blake Griffin wreaked havoc in Clippers basketball. So, I mean, you if you want an inside center that's going to get up in the air and be vertical, that's him. He's him. He's rebounding, too. He's on the boards all day. All right, before we take another step in any direction for season seven, we might even go back to season six. I want to see which ones of these Sparks cards has, okay, 25 shot IQ. 25 shot IQ, definitely. He does have 25 shot IQ. 30 shot IQ on Jeremy Lin. I want to see how many of these cards, 25 shot IQ on Kyle Kuzma. Damian Lillard, 25 shot IQ on Damian Lillard. I'm willing to bet that most of these cards have a 25 shot IQ. As far as these free cards, these free cards go, I'm betting, okay, 40 shot IQ on Jason Terry. I mean, but that's a, a midget, so to speak. I mean, if, if you want to use those words. Tobias Harris has a 40 shot IQ. Okay, uh, that's a little bit different. Okay, so... I want, I'm willing to bet most of these spark cards have 25 shot IQ. Let's see, Doug Christie, 40 shot IQ. So you have to be a lethal shooter to have 40. I haven't seen anything over 40. Scotty Barnes from the Unfazed Pack, 30 shot IQ. Um, my fault. Um, Paul George, 25 shot IQ. That's Chris Paul. That's not Paul George. Either way, 25 shot IQ out of Chris Paul. 25 shot IQ out of Paul Pearson. He was a shooter shooter. How do they do that? This guy has a 93 point shot with a 25 shot IQ. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. So, okay, we're going to say shot IQ might be one of those, those stats that the in-game cards have over everybody else. Or that might be like they're saving that for a certain set in order to monetize something down the line that has an edge over everybody else. Let's see. I want to see gladiators. Let me see a gladiator. This Larry Bird. These are 99 overall cards too. 25 shot IQ. We've been looking at 99 overall cards for a long time now. And I feel like, I feel like the placebo 99s. I really do. 25 shot IQ. Okay. Okay. We, we should still be looking at 97, 98s as the premier cards. But I mean, it is what it is. We're in season seven and... Things move very quick. We, things progressed very quick. But what I, but the question I'm asking, and if you know, let me know in the comment section, what does shot IQ affect? This is a question that I want to ask NBA 2K Toots. I want to figure out if he can run a test to figure out what shot IQ affects in a player. Okay, so this is the infamous 2K Toots, NBA 2K Toots. He does 2K tutorials. And these are the type of things he does. You see, I'm subscribed. I have the bell notification clicked so that I can get every upload that he uploads and I can know exactly when he drops a video. And that's what you need to do for me. You need to hit that bell notification on me and subscribe to my channel so that you know when I drop it. No, let me stop. Um, yeah, he just this is the type of stuff that he does. He runs tests on these games. The real use of 94 feet badge. I finally debunked the real use of uh, fast feet badge. He just, you know, he figures out what the badge is are used for or what some of the attributes are actually tied to and i mean it works he does good work he does good work side by side comparisons to figure out what's needed and what works for what and what you know it just figures out he just lets us know what's what in this nba 2k community these tutorials come in very handy for a guy like me so uh y'all go subscribe to nba 2k toots first of all I'm not really looking at the rest of these cards, but we came, we saw, we conquered, we did what we had to do, and we got, look, we got it, we got it, we got his beard on right.
we got his hair on right. We did a thing. We did a thing, bruh. Y'all ain't did a thing like that. When's the last time y'all did a thing like that? Anyway, like the video, subscribe for more of this. Be here when I'm back here because more is gonna happen. I mean, it's my team. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.